Hello everyone, this is Stevio here, and we are back in Wisconsin. We are pulling a couple rakes here. Oh, oh who is this? Oh no, I guess I should pull over. Okay, here we go. I'll pull over to the side, officer. Uh, I don't know what to do, officer. Okay, am I good? Uh, all right, guess, I guess I'm good. Maybe he was just a little annoyed I didn't have my blinkers on. You don't know. Whoa, look at that guy go. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. So if you don't know, these officers have been trying to catch some cattle thievery going on here. Uh, they have been uh, patrolling the area pretty hard these last few days. I even got accused of uh, some uh, cattle thief. I guess this truck here might have been used to steal some cattle, run some cattle over the Texas border. Man, was that a little... I did get in some trouble because uh, I kind of ran from the law. That's not a good thing to do. So here we go. Yeah. We need to get these hungry, hungry cattle some feed. We have like nothing really stocked up right now, and uh, that's a really bad deal. Ooh, where should I unload these rakes here? Of course, we're not going to pull them with our, our Ford truck. I guess we really could, because these are uh, wheel-driven rakes, so they drive from the ground, so uh, as long as you're pulling them, all right, so now we're going to head up to Jim Bob's, grab uh, another mower here really quick because we are going to mow some up. Oh, 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 get that out of this guy's way here. They are all over the place. I like their commitment. So Jim Bob has an old uh, sickle mower here. We are going to borrow. There we go. And I'm hoping to get my wife on that. Sam is still MIA, missing in action. So we are going to try to mow our oats field right here. Get that nice mow down so we can uh, feed these. Get out of the way, birds. One of them birds hit my windshield the other day. Cracked it all to heck. Okay. I guess I'll leave this over here by my other mower. Go. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got a runaway mower here. Okay. You gonna stop? Oh. All right. So now, what do we want to put on what? Hmm. Hmm. Tough. Man, look at them go. Speedy. I'm surprised the Mercury's will go that fast. So. Uh, ooh. You guys don't know about the Model D, huh? Listen to the Model D. Now that's a putt putt right there. Yeah, we. I don't think I'm gonna use that just because I don't have it running just right. I think the old Alice would work great on the sickle rake. Probably the 720. One more. What do we get? Either the Minneapolis Moline. For the John Deere Model A. Thinking I'm gonna use the Minneapolis Moline just because I have used that rake on the John Deere Model A and it just doesn't have a, just enough horsepower. So, all right, I got the Minneapolis Moline hooked up to the rake. We'll use that in a little bit. I didn't end up using the 720, uh, I just left it on the old uh, hay rake there. So, we might get some hay for our cattle here pretty quick. Uh, they'll have to eat a little wet hay. We got the old uh, tether here. Yeah, it, we, it's been used quite a few years. It still works, so still works. We're going to jump on the old Alice here and uh, join my wife. She should be around here somewhere, I believe. Oh, yep, she's down there at the end so we 
Unfold this here. Turn on the sickle blade there. So if you see, this isn't as actually OSHA safe nowadays, but it just runs a little drive right there. It runs a uh, knife set across another knife set. Yeah, we are gonna get quite a good bumper crop from this. If you can see, this oats are really high. Probably could uh, speed it up a little bit here. Oh, there's the old police running down again. I don't know if my wife is going to do another headland or not. I'm going to mow this ditch here. Just because it's my ditch. There we go. Mow this down too. Use this little bit of grass hay here. Oats. Never stockpile too much for these cold Wisconsin winters. Let's just say that. kind of made a mess around here. Uh, is she going to figure it out there? I don't know. Let's see. She's having a hard time turning. Let's just say that. Oh, oh yep. Here she goes. Oh, man. Yep. Definitely. Definitely running over some stuff here. There we go. Yeah, I'll clean up after her then. There we go. Should be our last pass and we should be done. Uh-oh. Don't, don't make it too hard on yourself. What is she doing? Our little acreage here is done. I guess I could mow the grass between the trees, but we'll do that another time. My wife was done with the headache. She went directly to the house. Can't say I blame her much. All right. So now we got to get on the old tether. Let's see here. Now this tether is a very unique tether. It was uh, made for horse drawn and kind of converted into a uh, tractor drawn, I guess. Come on, you can start. All right, watch out for the sickle there. There we go. Wheel drawn here. Oh yeah, yep, watch out there. Get sprayed in the face. So uh, it's definitely effective. It will definitely make a mess. This is one of my favorite jobs on the farm just because uh, I get to make a mess out in my hayfield. You can run this as fast as you want to go. I've even run it behind my Dodge before. All right, so we are done with this. Good thing, because let's just say it's a little buggy. Yes, we did have a lot of problems with it. Not sure exactly what's going on with this thing, but we got the tedding done. We got the tedding done. Okay, walk away. Walk away. 
Now, we just need to rake up all this stuff. I'm hoping the Minneapolis Moline has it in it. If you don't remember, a long time ago, I pulled this with the Model A, and it just didn't have enough horsepower to pull all this. So let's see if the old uh, straight four has it. Hoping I don't make too big of windrows, because this is a big old rake for our operation. Let's just say that. Alright, I think I got both of them moved over now. Uh oh, I'm gonna put all the I'm gonna put the windrow into the bushes. That's not what I wanna do. I probably need to rethink this whole going right here, huh? This is not smart. On the edge of the field there. Yeah, this thing isn't pulling it too bad. Minneapolis Moline. Getting it done. Yeah, this isn't going to take very long with this rake. It looks like I'm leaving a little bit. I don't know if that's... Uh, trying to steep it out of the tall grass. Definitely don't want it on the highway. I'll make sure I don't do that. There we go. Okay. There we go. I don't think I'm going to put two windrows together here. That would be a messy operation, to say the least. Didn't really want it. Definitely didn't really want it in the bushes. There we go. Now we can kind of control how much we are raking over there. We have a plan on little square bailing this. Or, uh, bundling it more like it okay can it get up the hill there we go try not to leave anything man this is enjoyable in the 50s there we go never thought I would see this big a rake on the farm okay Try to turn this just right. Looks like I kind of messed that up. There we go. Whew, man, just a few rounds and we are almost all done with this field. And it took us twice as long to uh, mow it and it didn't even take that long. Really, all we did is uh, cut it down. Is that considered mowing? If you are just a uh, sickle bar, just chop it down more or less. go can we get it all in one pass let's see if we can do her okay try not to make a mess of all my windrows oh this is gonna be tough I think we can do her I think we got her in her but uh thank you all for watching and I will see you next time over here in the beautiful Wisconsin in the 50s. Still able, working hard and sweating was in our DNA. Later, y'all. I think I kind of made a mess right there. Okay. Let's get this old tractor back here. What the heck? Holy cow. Slow down, Mr. Officer. Wow. That guy is crazy. Make sure, like the video. Thank y'all.